You are listening to Vamo Radio. Episode of Vamo Radio. I'm here today with Tommy Boyer, and he is the creator of the app Headline Music. Hi, Tommy. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good. I appreciate you taking the time. You taking the time? Oh, no problem. So, um, Tommy, I know that you are the uh, founder of Headline Music. So, what was the process like creating the actual? So the process was kind of complicated in the beginning. I didn't know anything about the app industry, so I had to quickly educate myself on that. I had to see, you know, different prices for different things. Should I work in the U.S.? Should I work outside the U.S.? Uh, what's it going to take to build this app? And um, so then, when we found out all the small details, it took about uh, two years from the idea um, inception yeah. to where we actually were able to release the full product, um, which was kind of crazy because in the beginning, I was told that it was only going to take a few months to build the app. Um, And then we just found out throughout Mm -hmm. the course of time that the process was just going to be way more intense. So. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Yeah. Wow. So um, tell me, how was it... um creating the app itself so like what can you tell everybody um what is it used for and how can people get connected with it sure so headline music is essentially i I always like to explain it as if you were thinking about like tinder but for music and what i mean by that is just the um the swiping feature that's the key part of it uh what i had noticed about the music industry was that it's really hard to find uh new music and find it fast um if you're an artist you have a hard time getting exposure and the reason that it that happens is because the bigger players like spotify and apple music what they tend to do is bury your song on the bottom of a playlist if you're even lucky enough to get on there um and that in itself could be a major challenge for an artist who's trying to find a way to emerge um especially when you have a lot of celebrities and stuff who are also trying to cross connect their platforms uh, from like modeling to uh, to making music or acting and things like that. Um, it just really pushes everybody to the bottom. So I was like, there's got to be something that we can do to put artists more on a level playing field. And the way that we did that was by creating the swiping feature. So artists will upload a 30 second preview of their song, usually their chorus or something catchy. And then the fan who's trying to find new music will select the genre they like and then they'll start swiping left and right on songs they like or dislike and that allows them to a uh, guarantee that their music is being heard but also for the fan to just find a bunch of songs real fast that's um very useful for i mean any kind of people from a variety of fans who love to listen to music um artists who love to um, put their music out there of course like you nowadays and be able to get your music on all these platforms on radio and television so this is perfect i think this is awesome um so can you tell us what are the kind of the um some of the important features on the app that people sure yeah so um when it comes to the app and its features some of the key features that we are recently uh putting out in this next build coming out next week is actually a artist leaderboard a fan leaderboard and then you're going to be able to upload your music right from our website um, which is pretty important. So uh, the artist leaderboard, the importance of that is if you're a fan and you don't want to uh, worry about swiping left and right, we made it even faster to find new music because you can see who people like at the top of the leaderboard, and those are the most like trendy songs on our platform uh, right then and now from our user base. Yeah. Um, so that's important. The, yeah. fa- the fan leaderboard is important too because that's kind of like an in-house competition. You can uh, change your status level in our platform, um, whether you're a, a basic level fan to super fan to celebrity, super celebrity, and then finally an icon status would be level 100. So it goes from 0 to 100 different levels, and you get different level changes based on things that you do in the app, such as uh, sharing music with friends or swiping on songs. So couple new cool things that are coming out and uh, Mm. we're excited about that push nice very very nice so where can people go and download the app like is it pay for anything or you know how can we go get it sure so right now we're only on ios so for all you android users uh i'm sorry but (laughs) uh we're not there yet we're still proving the concept making sure everything's flowing and then um android will be shortly in the future but for those of you who do have an iphone you can go to the app store type in headline music it'll pop right up 
and um, you'll be able to download it. You can also download it right off our Instagram bio. We have the link that'll take you right to the App Store. So it's pretty simple. Um, if you want to hear more about our background story and how we actually came up with it, um, you can always go to our website at www.headlinemusicapp.com and read about our About Me section and kind of see how we got started with that. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. Um, so also, can you tell us where can we stay connected? What was that? I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Where can we stay connected with you on social media? Yeah, sure. So uh, we have an Instagram. Uh, we recently got a Twitter. Uh, we've started a YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is a headline music app, and that's where we do a uh, mini podcast session that we've been starting. Uh, it's called the Friday Feature. Every Friday, we choose an artist from our platform who has music on there that we're feeling, and we want to give them a little extra exposure, so we'll set up an interview with them, um, and we put those on YouTube. We also have, like I said, the Instagram, which is uh, Headline Music. Uh, you can find us on there, Headline Music app. Um, and uh, yeah, so just uh, keep an eye out for some of those. We also have the Facebook and uh, and Twitter, but those are just getting started. So we're slowly trying to build the following on those. Nice. Thank you so much for tuning in again to the station. This has been Tommy Boyer of Headline Music App. you got to go get the app if you don't have it now. And your users, you'll have it really soon once they get it going. <laughs> It's pretty much Apple nowadays, so you got it for sure. It's free. You guys go check it out. Again, this has been Vamo Radio. See you next time. All right, appreciate it.